Hello everybody, this is Rich, and um, first of all, I just want to apologize for the um, the long time since I've been a tutorial, I think it's been like a week or something like that, um, I had promised a uh, melee uh, weapon tutorial, um, so I apologize for that, um, but honestly I've been working on a couple of things so I can you know give you guys a nice big update on tutorials, um, this is going to be including um, the finishing up of the turning the axe into a, a melee weapon that does damage. Um, also, the uh, reason why it was taking me so long is because I've been trying to implement uh, for my own personal project um, an RTS style control system um, as well as a selection system. Um, so that's taking me a lot of time. It was my first time using Flowgraph. Um, I'm not much, I don't, I don't program. I'm not a programmer. Um, so stuff I have to learn. So I, it took me a long time to get this uh, RTS uh, camera system and uh, selection system um, so that's what I've been working on I've also been working on making a flamethrower uh, a weapon and uh, I don't know if anybody's ever done a flamethrower but the uh, free SDK um, this is certainly my first time so what's going to be happening in the next update uh, for tutorials is going to be a melee weapons tutorial um, with the uh, axe that previously previously modeled um, a flamethrower tutorial for people who want to use flamethrowers as a weapon as well, you know, the flames, particle effects that causes damage. And, and I, I can't promise anything, but I'm hoping that the particle effect of, you know, the fire, the flame will be able to catch things on fire and spread. Um, I cannot promise that part about it because I don't even know if I, I can even do that. Um, but that's what the tutorial is going to tutorial's gonna be on that as well, flamethrower. Um, and I'm also going to do a tutorial if anybody's interested on uh, creating an RTS style camera. That's, you know, uh, using WASD to navigate left, right, up, and down. Um, and then using your left mouse button to, to select and, and, and uh, right click to uh, move people around, um, to order them around. And uh, if you all using Flowgraph, there's no C, all with Flowgraph, um, if people are interested in that. Um, so we got a lot of updates coming out that I think people are going to be really happy about. Um, so that's why it's been taking me so long, and I really appreciate you guys, uh, you know, sticking with me and doing these tutorials, and I apologize for the, for the lengthy time of being out. Um, if it, you know, at the end of the video, uh, just comment if this is a good idea, if you guys would like the uh, flow graph tutorial on RTS style camera, or if you guys would like the uh, tutorials on, um, on um, the melee weapons and the flamethrower. Um, because, in my opinion, it's, 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 my, it's a big deal, in my opinion. I think a lot of people are going to like it, and I think it's worthwhile that there hasn't been a tutorial released in a, in a week for me to figure this out for you guys. So just let me know what you think, um, you know, if you're upset about not doing tutorials. I, you know, I can, you know, probably change and do some something quick to keep, you know, the ball rolling on these tutorials. But I figured taking the time out to figure out how to do a couple of things to surprise you guys with something really big. Um, but if, if that's not what you guys like, then just let me know in the comment section. All right, then. I just, today I just want to show you, um, you know, the RTS controls that I've implemented here. It's not a tutorial. It's just implementing you uh, what was possible with what I had done in Flowgraph. And if you guys like this, this is what I'm going to be doing a Flowgraph tutorial on. Remember, this is not a tutorial this time. This is me showing you what I've been working on uh, using Flowgraph with the camera. And see, just to give you guys a sneak peek of what I'm going to be teaching you and why it was taking me so long. All right. Well, I was thinking the other day while I was doing tutorials, um, not tutorials, I was doing the flow graph, a nice, really cool feature for CryEngine could be like a, um, a uh, flow graph to C++ converter. Like um, you program something in flow graph, it's just really for prototyping. I mean, you really want to implement these in C++ you know, and find, to finalize it. And I'm not really good at C++ at all. Um, so I'm trying to learn, but it would be really cool to be able to flow graph something Instead of having to reprogram it for uh, C++, it was a Crytek uh, released a flow graph to C++ converter. That you basically do a flow graph, you plug that you know that that XML file right into a, another little little small little program that converts it into C++ code. Um, I, I think it'd be too much work to actually turn it to C++ and then put it in the correct order in the C++ file. But 
I think just to take a C uh, flow graph and put it in C++ code, and then you can just insert that code into where you need to, that would be so awesome. So if you guys like that idea, if that sounds like a really cool idea, then just, you know, let Cry, you know, Crytek know, because I'm going to let them know. It's a, good, it's a good suggestion, I think. So if you guys really like that, maybe we can make it happen by enough of us uh, letting them know that that's what we want. Okay, uh, this is just the same same scene here. And um, so what this is here is I'm not in game. I'm just in the editor, as you can see. I'm using the right mouse button to move around and stuff. So I'm just going to jump right in game to hidden. Actually, I'll just do this here. Game, switch to game. Now I'm in game mode. Now you can see that uh, I have a different mouse cursor than uh, what would be in the game. As you can see, I'm also not a person. Um, I'm not a first person guy here. Um, so I'm actually in a custom pos uh, camera position that I've set myself up in. Now, um, I have not implement implemented selecting people, then moving them, but I have implemented this guy right here. If I left click, right click does nothing, middle click, uh, you know, middle mouse button does nothing, but if I left click, he goes ahead and he moves to that position. And if I move the mouse around, you can see that he doesn't, you know, follow the mouse, he goes to his position. He's gonna get there in a few seconds and I stops. And there we go. And I can just issue, you know, different orders over and over again. I'm um, currently uh I, I am in a different custom camera position, but I have not gotten rid of the um the character player. He actually uh when I push game, he actually starts where I am and then falls to the ground right below me. So he's still you know, still there. So if this guy right here sees my player which is somewhere down here when the game starts he'll he will not listen to uh the pointing and clicking he won't listen to it so that's why i'm behind the player or you know the guy right enemy right here um i do plan on obviously fixing that um and having custom ai behavior for attacking enemies and stuff but so let's jump in the game another thing i want to show you about this is that <coughs> zooming in feature um zooming out was a hard 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 thing to do I got the zooming in perfect but zooming out I have not implemented that I've tried and tried and tried and it doesn't work that well but um, a lot of games when you zoom in it goes straight down or at a diagonal uh, for where the camera is facing the zooming in feature I've, I've implemented here is wherever the mouse is and I zoom in the camera will actually go to where the mouse is so let me go uh, left on this side here and, and scroll up it'll actually scroll in to that position or if I go to the right side here and I zoom in, it's going to scroll to that position. Um, as you can see, I use the WASD keys to move. Um, so that's a good scrolling feature. So <laughs> something I found funny here was, let me just tell this guy, okay, go over here. He actually, these are destructible walls, if you remember, right, pre-broken. And uh, this isn't by accident, but it is pretty cool. It's not realistic, but it is pretty cool. I'll tell this guy right here to go on the other side. And uh, if you look real closely, he... <laughs> He breaks it until he can walk over. I thought that was pretty damn funny. Um, let's have him come back here. Uh, you know, keep going. Oh. He saw me. That's why he stopped. He's looking at me. The player's somewhere down here. He stopped. But it's cool. He'll, he'll keep going until it breaks, and then he'll walk over it, which is pretty cool. Um, another thing I want to show you. This was pretty hard to do. Um, well, if I hold the W key, you can see I go forward. If I hold the S key, I go back, A key, left, D key, right. Um, and I, I've implemented the middle mouse button. While you hold it down, we'll follow uh, the mouse cursor anywhere you want it to go while you're holding it down. As soon as you let go, you stop your rotation. Um, it was hard uh, to let it know that W is, is uh, forward no matter which way you're facing. So previously when I was working this out and prototyping, um, W would still make me go in this direction here that's yeah because this was forward when i started the game but uh, i've actually worked on it and now when i push w forward is this way now and back is this way left is this way so no matter which way i'm facing um turning left right or going forward or backwards is always relative to the camera so no matter which way i'm facing let's face this way forward is now this way and back is this way you know you know vice versa um another cool thing that i've implemented to this flow graph i'm going to show you my flow graph after um, but uh, an another thing I've implemented here is um, when I was going left, right, up, and down, um, I was getting so I was getting too far away from the terrain. I want to basically have my camera at a set height, and obviously you can zoom in and zoom out. 
closer or farther if you need to. But I wanted my camera as you move to basically stay at the same, you know, the same level, uh, something like this, the same height away from the people, because this is going to be RTS game here. And um, I wanted to see if I can program it to where I move the camera um, to keep the camera and you know move up and down the camera uh, wherever I am to make it a certain distance at all times. So if I was going backwards with this and then. Um, th I was going off of a cliff, I would quickly find that the terrain is so, so far below, I wouldn't be able to see anything. Um, and there was no way to really get around that, you wouldn't be able to see. So what I wanted to do is implement so that if I go back or if I go down a terrain, my camera will actually level to a certain level. So let me just show you what I'm talking about. If I go back here, and if I go off the cliff, which I'm about to, you'll see my camera actually goes down with the cliff. And here I go, I'm actually going down off the cam, off the uh, cliff here. There we go. And if you notice these small little bumps in the terrain, my camera will go up or go down. It will actually sit there and uh, follow the terrain. If I go forward, it's going to end up raising the camera. So let me hold forward, and my camera is raising to make sure that I'm at a constant dis constant distance from the uh, from the terrain. It doesn't matter if I'm holding left, right, up, or down. The camera will always adjust um, to uh, the height of the terrain. Um, that's done through photograph. Like I said, everything's done through photograph. Um, so let me hold left. I'm going to go off another cliff here. You're going to see that my camera actually goes down with the terrain. And it also goes up with the terrain as well. So it always maintains a strict position um, to the terrain, which is what I wanted. Um, the camera does adjust itself no matter where I am to the height of the terrain, keeping its height at a certain distance. Well, actually, I program it for a certain range, you know. A uh, certain range it's allowed to be in without moving the camera. And that's all through the flow graph. I'm going down, you can see my camera's going down. But this is really, really cool. It doesn't matter which way I'm facing. Uh, the camera will always follow the terrain. No matter which way I'm facing. Which I thought was just amazing. I felt I felt really successful when I got this done. Again, this is my first time really with flow graph. And uh, it took me a long time. Um, but I will share this if this is guys if this is what you want again after I make this video um, let me know if this is something you guys are actually interested in um, so we got the zoom in feature obviously let's say if I wanted to go to these mountains right here I can just keep on zooming in and it doesn't zoom me in down it actually zoom me in wherever you know my mouse is which is pretty cool so if I want to go down here it's in this little crevice here there we go there we go and uh, Let's go up this direction. Let's just zoom in. I'm not moving, I'm zooming. Now I'm moving right now. Now I'm zooming. But it's something that I thought was pretty impressive. Let's move this guy here. You know, let's move him over here. <laughs> I like this a lot. Let's <laughs> see this again. All right, buddy. He's like, ah, oh, fuck this. <laughs> I go around. Let's try again. Oh, there we go. Pretty cool, I thought. Let's go this way. Okay, there we go. All right, then that's that little quick little show of what I've done. If you guys like this, please let me know. I'll, you know, because if you don't, I, I won't. I won't do this tutorial here. I got to show you my flow graph, like I promised. And surprisingly, it's not as big as you would think with all these features here. So let me just go up to the flow graph um, entities. I just made two: player camera and the test enemy. The test enemy is uh, this guy right here. Test enemy. Um, it's a flow graph assigned to him and a flow graph assigned to a camera, um, which is okay. Let me see if I can find this. Okay, I turned off helper, so let me turn this helper on. Now, oh, there we go. There's my camera. There we go. But, so for the camera flow graph, which is in control of moving left, right, up, down, rotation, and moving the camera up and down depending on the height, is this. And uh, you can, won't be able to read everything, um, but here's a quick quick thing here. Again, this is all my work. Um, this is all work done by me, all custom. Um, 
as for rotation. Uh, as you can see, scrolling down has nothing because uh, I deleted that because it just wasn't working that well. I'm going to implement that later. Scrolling up is here. Uh, moving backwards is, you know, these two coming across. Cool. Um, you know, forward is these two going across. Moving right. Here we go. Moving left. Okay, this is controlling. This is uh, the flow nodes that are controlling uh, up and down depending on camera height. Well, depending on camera position, it moves the camera up and down to a certain, certain, uh, certain level here. And uh, that's that for that. For moving the player, <laughs> this is even shorter right here for moving that player around. Let's zoom in so you guys can see. This is not a tutorial. Just let me know if you guys would like it, and I'll, I'll post that up. And uh, I do anticipate this being a long tutorial, somewhere along the two-hour range, because there's a lot to explain. Um, oh, by the way, just let me know if you guys like long tutorials. Like, um, let's say if I have an hour and a half tutorial, do you guys like it a full hour and a half in one video? Or do you guys like, let's say, 20 minute, 20 minute, 20 minute, 20 minute kind of deal? Um, let me know because uh, I've always wondered do you guys like long tutorials or do you guys like you know bits and pieces like let's do a half an hour tutorial then continuing in part two and continuing in part three just let me know I would appreciate it <laughs> I'm trying to make it easier for you guys not harder all right but this is my flow graph just two simple flow graphs well relatively simple and uh, and just to actually no um, well, thank you guys very much, and I appreciate you guys sitting through this tutorial. And uh, comment, let me know. All right, then. Bye. Bye.